YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil, coming through with another shoe review today. And um, today's review is on a flax shoe, or I should say, uh, depending on where you're from, uh, wheat or even butter. You know what I mean? So I just, I call them all three personally. And uh, first one I got up is this one i actually got like a few months ago so it was like summertime by the time i got this one and uh i got this one from kicks usa for probably about like 54 55 maybe 56 at the highest dollars and you know how they always do those sales when it's like x amount of percent off and all that stuff so i end up getting this joint size nine and a half and it's just so nice the way how flax or wheat or whatever or butters or whatever can just fit in right to the fall me uh they definitely fit perfectly for the fall and the winter but you could kind of wear them year round depending on what you're wearing um some people like i just seen this one dude today he actually just had like a whole wheat outfit with like some wheat tims but um I, I think that that's overkill if you ask me but it is what it is to each his own and uh this is the joint right here mr air griffey max one now, I never had the I never had this model of Grippy, so uh, definitely happy to get it. That was another reason why I got this. This is my first wheat sneaker, this first model of the Grippy, because I already got the uh, the second signature shoe, and yeah. So this one was a, was a whole different, you know. It was affordable to be real with you. I wouldn't have bought this for over a hundred bucks. But this one definitely screams uh, fall and winter to me. Um, a little bit of summertime, but, you know, with this cloth and everything and suede. But I, I, Nike definitely stepped it up on this joint, though, man. Crazy, clean, fly, all of that. And uh, I got a size nine and a half. And this this is cool for me. Um, you know me, I preferably go for like more of a snug fit i got a slim foot fyi in case somebody asked in the comments um but everything else is basically built like the griffy one but since this is like my first time actually reviewing a griffy one on my channel i just actually do a full-blown griffy one review in general too instead of just saying oh this is the wheat version because i got the fresh waters or whatever so on the inside you got a sock liner right here Get that harvest gold and all that stuff it's like nike coming with the heat as far as like the wheat colorways but i will say just you might just want to wait for them because you know more of the wheat colorways more of a seasonal kind of like shoe so before you know it, you've been got them for a deal or whatever so as far as these finding these if these still around you should be able to find them but honestly i wouldn't pay no more than a hundred bucks for them you know but uh this shoe been out for a while. I wouldn't be surprised if this shoe came out like last fall and it's just like still just kind of sitting and they just trying to get rid of it. Certain retailers. But anyway, you got a neoprene sock liner. And it's almost, you know, it has the whole booty fit. And then on the inside, you have the, the Nike, typical Nike on the insole. That's uh, weed as well. I didn't notice it until I started shooting uh, shooting the video or whatever that this air bubble was actually black. Like, that's crazy. Like, right here. But you can actually see through on these right here at the bottom. Don't sleep on this new buck, though. Or this suede, rather, because it's actually pretty good. It's almost like finger swiping good. Like, they, don't, they didn't even call this premium, but it's built like a premium. And the difference, too, man, another thing, too, like with these when you get a flax version of a shoe that you like or something like that as opposed to its normal new bug version or um, especially like its leather version leather version one thing you would notice is that it's a it's a lot more softer and it can fit to the your foot better i definitely think because the fabric is actually uh it feels premium to me and the fact that it's it's a little bit more loose more maybe more lightweight rather I, it has a, a better fit a more comfortable fit on your foot so I think these might actually be slightly fit better than like 
if it was like a leather griffy or something like that uh, i noticed that between uh, another flex kick i had i have versus the typical one you know what i mean so i guess along the flex series uh you could just feel the difference it feel a lot more loose and more comfort comfortable though it's it's almost kind of hard to explain but that's the closest i can explain it um and you matter of fact you do have that sway where you could just switch with the figure but um with these i think about uh ted too or you know ted the teddy bear i know he got his own kicks out too with reebok that whole collab those look fresh too but these definitely remind me of like some like some teddy bear feet you know what I mean? Because with that whole yellow wheat kind of, and it's all soft and plush like a teddy bear. Like, I definitely thought about that when I got these in hand. I thought this was going to be like just a, a tough fabric or something like that. But actually, it's not. It's actually like a soft material. Um, what I nicknamed these, uh, what was I about to say, like that. The, the, the white on here reminds me of like a marshmallow. Typical mid so also seen this kind of midsole with the nomos as well go look at my past reviews of my channel i reviewed the nomos and they basically damn near had the same midsole they probably came out around that 95 96 ish time something like that correct me if i'm wrong then going to the back you got the nike swoosh and one of the finer details that i almost forgot is actually this forest green swoosh at the top that's for his green it's not black um and also too uh the the nike right here this look tough with it being like i don't know if this embossed would you call it that you got nike right there that looks fly like that the way it is like the simple fact that it's flax and it's like this that makes it look raw too um man so yeah man i'm definitely digging this shoe this is definitely gonna be in my rotation for the fall at the bottom you got more of a, a caramel kind of like feel you got the gum got the gum bottom excuse me i didn't swap the laces out with some of the flex shoes i'm thinking about swapping the laces out a little bit but uh for me at this point in time uh the flex laces you know that color is, is cool with me it's not really a big deal breaker and uh, I don't have too much else to say man I mean it's built like a normal Griffey got this the the iconic Nike swoosh on the um on the toe box and uh, if you like the Griffey if like if you a crazy obsessed Griffey fan these probably might be do you good you know um, Outside, outside of OG colorways, this is probably like definitely a good retro plus colorway for the fall. I think a lot of people slept on this because a lot of people slept on this one. Oh, also too, look at this. Got the embroidery right there with the 24. This, this is like a Velcro strap, just like it is on a normal Griffey. Um, I think a lot of people slept on these because number one, it's not like a lifestyle shoe, obviously. This is more... I don't want to say Nike basketball, but obviously this would be Nike baseball. You know, the basketball shoes, the football shoes, the uh, baseball shoes as well. You know, obviously they appear a little, you know, they're a little bit more bulky on the foot, but it's all good. If you don't dick ride trends or whatever, you just like shoes for the way you like them or whatever. And it's no knock if you don't like baseball shoes, you know what I mean? But hey it is what it is man definitely something you don't want to sleep on so hey i say get up on it y'all know i got the b-rolls um i got an on foot coming soon you could just like look at the on foot just by itself and then you know maybe if you're getting it in the mail maybe you might want to see look at a review for it not too many people reviewed that shoe on youtube i already did my looked it up i think it's like less than three people or three people i might be the fourth who knows Rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Neil Goodfella. Goodfella Neil. Got more talk videos and more sneaker videos on the way. Uh, I might do some clothing videos, but I don't know yet. Peace.